My name is Brian, and this is Tandem Cross. Today, we will be looking at and installing the Stripling Custom Gunworks thumb rest for the Ruger 2245. The Stripling Custom Gunworks 2245 thumb rest is CNC machined from anodized 6061 aluminum and includes a set of instructions, two self-tapping screws, and the drill bit necessary for installation. The thumb rest is a must-have for the competitive shooter and avid pointer alike as it adds a new point of contact to index your hands for a repeatable and steady grip. The steadiness keeps the reticle and your optics centered or your iron sights properly aligned during transitions from target to target, allowing you to shoot faster. Before we begin the installation, we're going to remove all ammunition from our workspace and perform a safety check by removing the magazine and inspecting the chamber to ensure that we're working with a clear piece of equipment. To begin the disassembly process, we're going to pull the trigger in a safe direction. If you do not have a hammer bushing installed yet, you will need to insert an empty magazine in order to do this. Now you can remove the mainspring housing. Remove the bolt and separate the receiver from the grip frame. Before we super glue our thumb rest to the frame, we're going to clean up our contact surfaces with alcohol and Q-tips to ensure a proper bond. For alignment purposes, we're going to drip the trigger pin halfway out of the frame by pushing down on the retainer and pushing on the opposite side of the pin with a punch. This will ensure that the thumb rest is properly aligned over the trigger pin hole. Now we can apply a thin, even layer of super glue onto the contact surface to include the beveled edge of the thumb rest. This beveled edge of the thumb rest will butt up against the beveled edge of the frame, and when properly aligned over the trigger pin, we will apply pressure and hold it in place for a few minutes to allow the super glue to set. For the drilling process, gunsmith installation is recommended. The next best option would be to use the provided bit in a drill press or a cordless drill. We do not recommend using a Dremel, but it can be accomplished on the low speed setting with a steady hand. You'll begin by drilling the second hole first, 3 eighths of an inch deep into the steel frame lug. Now install the self-tapping fine thread screw. Now you can drill the front hole and install the self-tapping coarse thread screw. Do not over tighten as it is anchored only in the plastic frame. Once you have your thumb rest properly installed, be sure to clean out the frame of any debris that may have accumulated during the installation process and to push your trigger pin back into the frame. Now you can mount your barrel back onto the grip frame, insert your bolt, and reinsert your mainspring housing. If you do not have the hammer bushing installed yet, you will need to insert an empty magazine to drop the mainspring housing latch. Then you will remove the magazine and close the mainspring housing latch under tension. And finally, finish off by performing a function test by charging the bolt, pulling the trigger in a safe direction and holding it, listen for the trigger reset, and pull the trigger once more. Now that you have the Stripling Custom Gunworks thumb rest properly installed on your Ruger 2245, you'll enjoy faster shooting all around and lower scores. Be sure to check out our forums at tackdriver.com, like us on Facebook, and subscribe to the YouTube channel for the latest and greatest. My name is Brian, and this is Tandem Cross.